What's going on guys? I'm Cash with Cash Dial Boards and in this video we're going to go over the basics of building a cruiser, longboard, or skateboard press. Let's get started. Before I get started with how to actually build the press and use it, I want to quickly go over what you're going to need. So as you can see, it's very basic materials. You're going to need some 2x4s, some threaded metal rod with nuts to go over it, and some big washers or metal plates to serve as washers some scrap pieces of wood that are pretty thin and some additional just scrap pieces of wood to make the kicktail press with. So that's all you're going to need to build this press and now we could get into how to actually build it. So the very first thing to do when making your press is to draw a center line down the board that you're working with. When you're pressing boards it's important to try to keep everything as precise and accurate as possible so laying out the press well ahead of time is a big help. After you draw your lengthwise center line, draw one widthwise on the sturdy board too. Then you could start building the components that you'll use to shape your board. If you want a kicktail, you'll have to build a wedge. I used some scrap plywood and one inch thick maple to do this. When you do this, ensure that the angle isn't too steep that it'll break the wood of the board that you're trying to press. Also, for all the parts and components of the press that will be pressing the wood of the actual board that you're making, Make sure that it's perfectly smooth, so that way it doesn't indent and ruin your board. Now that you've got all you need to press your kicktails, I'll show you how to add some concave. I rip thin strips of scrap wood on a table saw, which I run lengthwise on the outsides of my press. The thinner the strip, the less concave your board will have. The thicker the strip, the more it'll have. By using this pressing method, when you add pressure to the center of the board, it curves the wood into its concave shape. Once all your shaping press components are done, attach them to your sturdy baseboard. I use screws so that I could adjust my press if necessary. Again, make sure that all the surfaces are perfectly smooth. This means countersinking for the screws so they don't stick out. Now it's time to add some pressure to shape your board into its final shape. To do this, I essentially make giant clamps using threaded metal rods and 2x4s. Cut holes in the 2x4s slightly wider than your baseboard to run the metal rods through. Then put one on the top side of your press and one on the bottom, running the rod with washers and nuts through. To give your board its concave and kicktails, all you have to do is evenly tighten down the nuts and your board will take its shape. Making a press that uses this style of clamp actually allows for a surprising amount of pressure, so you could get lots of concave and nice kicktails on your boards. You might have to add extra shims and clamps to give your board that perfect shape and avoid delamination, so get creative. Also, keep in mind that this method is not just limited to boards with concave and single kicks. That's it for this video. Click the annotation above to see how to actually use the press. Also, please like the video if you found it helpful, comment any questions you may have, and subscribe for more board building videos. As always, thank you for watching.